Hello, this is Hannah with Heartfelt Wellbeing. And today we're going to look at a simple homemade tea recipe, or you could call this a healing, um, healing hot to drink that can be really, really helpful during the cold and flu seasons at, um, this is often happens in the joints in the seasons. So this is called the Rutu Sundays. It's where we're changing from cold to hot or hot to cold. And so I have been recommending this lately to several of my clients. And I was like, why don't I just put this out there so that lots of people can benefit from it. So this recipe um, includes ginger, so fresh ginger root garlic, fresh garlic, lemon, and honey, which I need to grab here. Grab honey and a spoon. And optionally, a little cayenne, a little dash of cayenne pepper. So um, this I started prepping before filming so that we didn't have to just hang out and wait during the process. So I already have, I'm gonna tilt the camera down here. You can see all the ingredients here. Um, let me tilt this all the way down there. Okay, so I have a mug that I made <laughs> that we're going to be putting everything in. And I have this pot here that has, um, has garlic, sorry, has ginger, <laughs> ginger boiling in it. So I already got the ginger, um, ginger going here. And I also have some fresh turmeric root right now. So I just put a teeny little couple slices of, of turmeric in there. So the ginger I sliced up, I call it a thumb of ginger. So if you just take like a thumb's worth of a hunk of ginger, slice it up, put it in four cups of water and boil that. And we want it to be boiling for like 10 to 20 minutes so that you, you can see that there's this, um, this color that comes in. It's not just, it doesn't look like water anymore. It looks more like a tea. So we've got that, got that going on right now. And what we're gonna do, the next piece of preparation is to take a clove of garlic, so a good size clove, and we're going to smash it. And this is different than like putting it through a garlic press. I'm just gonna use the knife and I'm gonna use the side of the knife and I'm just gonna press down on the clove of garlic and smush it, okay? So what we want, and this was already kind of a flat piece, but we want this to kind of open up so that there's some garlic juice and this actually kind of activates the, um, the healing properties of the garlic. And I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? So I'm not gonna smush it all up. You can chop it up if you want, but this is, is pretty great. So I'm gonna take this and put it in my mug, okay? So I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And there's some, um, some info out there about how letting the garlic just sit um, is, is really helpful. Um, so we don't want to just smush the garlic and then what we're going to do next is pour the hot hot ginger tea over top of the garlic, but we're not going to do that right away. We're going to let the garlic sit broken open in its clove and that that is helpful. So the the ginger tea, we're going to keep it boiling. So garlic has a lot of wonderful properties. It's a antioxidant. It is um, a natural antibiotic. 
It supports the immune system. Those of you more familiar with Ayurveda know that it is Pitta aggravating, so it's very heating. It's got a pungency to it. It's spicy, but that also means that it helps burn out gunk, right? So if you are struggling with the, a cold or a cough or congestion right now, this is something that um, is, is helpful, garlic. And then ginger is also an antioxidant. It's really supportive for gut health and digestion. It also has a natural pungency, a heat to it that helps burn out stagnation, gunk, ama, which is toxins in the system. And so combining ginger and garlic together, which you might do frequently in your cooking, which is great this time of year too. I'm filming this in March. So we're in the kapha season where the earth and water elements are making things more sticky and stagnant. And getting a cold this time of year can be really frustrating because it's like it holds on for a while. We just had a cold go through our family. It was like just one person after the other and I was the last person to get it. So the, the like treating, right, instead of just being like, oh, I'll carry on, we wanna stay away from things that are mucus producing. So um, dairy is probably the main culprit. Gluten and refined sugar are also big culprits with congestion. So these ingredients, back to the ginger and the garlic, are really supportive for the immune system, for clearing out mucus. That's excellent. So um, let's get this poured. So we've let the um, we've let the garlic sit for a little bit, and I'm gonna get a little strainer here. And let me tilt this back down. You can see what we're doing here. So here's our cup that has the garlic clove. It's been sitting in it. And I'm using this strainer so that I can uh, catch any pieces of the ginger tea. So this is just gonna pour, sorry, pieces of ginger. You want the tea to go through. Okay, so I'm gonna dump these back in here. We can cover the pot back up and let it sit. Um, ready to use for later. Ooh, I can really smell the garlic now. So this is now steeping the garlic. So we're basically making a garlic tea. So um, in general, when we're making um, teas, roots, um, roots and seeds, we can boil, but then things like leaves or fruits, <laughs> We want to steep, and I'm not sure what category we would say garlic falls into here, but it's good for it to steep. I mean, it's a root, but it's different than like ginger um, in terms of how it grows. But we're gonna we're gonna steep it, so we're gonna let it just kind of hang out there and let the tea begin to cool. So the other elements that we're going to add in here are lemon. And I'm just gonna cut this lemon open. This is a beautiful Myers lemon, actually. So it's less acidic um, and a little sweeter. Sent all the way from California by the lovely Diane. Um, and so this, we're gonna put in in just a moment. So lemon is helps make things in the gut more alkaline. It's also um, sour, which is a taste that helps clear things out, helps clear out the, the liver. Um, and then we're gonna use some honey as well. So honey, you might be like, but that's a sugar and that creates more stagnation. The interesting thing about honey is that it is the one sweetener, the natural of the natural sweeteners, 
that is heating versus cooling. And so it is very helpful for treating kapha conditions. So honey is actually very helpful, but we don't wanna cook the honey. So again, we're letting this cool a little bit. It doesn't need to be super cooled down before we put the honey in. We just don't want it boiling. So the honey helps soothe and nourish um, and is, is, like I was saying, helpful for clearing the, the kapha out. So we're gonna put some honey in there too. And then this is totally optional if you wanna add a little bit of cayenne. So cayenne is very pungent, very heating, and it is helpful if you have really stubborn congestion or a fever, okay? So that may sound counterintuitive, but it will help the fever break. and. The fever meaning that your your body is having, it's trying to burn out something and it's having a hard time doing its own um, equilibrium of, of temperature balancing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. We're gonna put just a squeeze, squeeze of them in. Okay, and then we're gonna get the honey and I'm gonna get maybe I don't know what that is like a half a teaspoon of honey and mixing that in and then if you want to and I'm going to just do, and you can do this. You don't have to be super sick to do this. It can just be an immune supporting. I don't know if you saw that, but it was like not very much of this <laughs> cayenne, just a little, little sprinkle in there. So this is a nice healing brew. And what we want to do is to try to drink this as hot as possible. So um, I think this might still be a little hot for drinking. It's almost there. It's very flavorful and it might feel strange to drink something that tastes garlicky, but <laughs> just celebrate it. So cheers. And what you're gonna do is drink this as hot as you can stand. And then at the end, eat the clove of garlic, okay? So just know you might be a little a little garlicky and that's okay. It's gonna help help you stay healthy, feel great, um, and heal quicker if you're if you're dealing with some some sickness. This is particularly good to do in the spring, although you can do it at other times of the year too. So cheers, cheers to your health and well-being for supporting yourself in seasonal rhythm with the Ayurveda and for using food as medicine. Let me know how it goes. Take care.